In any clinical trial, um, the thing to be most proud of is, is always the patients. I think it takes a significant amount of courage on the part of the patients and a lot of support on the part of the family to participate in trials like this. I, I first met David and his family about two years ago and actually I, I remember very distinctly meeting him. Um, he was in a lot of pain. He had fairly advanced melanoma at the time I met him and I was concerned about his well-being and I was concerned about his ability to tolerate treatment. Um, but, but fortunately, we had a clinical trial available to him, and I talked to him about it and his family, and ultimately decided to participate in the clinical trial. The first treatment David was on uh, was a combination immunotherapy uh, with two drugs, and he stayed on those therapies for several months, and, and then, like many other patients, developed complications from the, the treatment and had to be taken off. Uh, of that therapy. And after that, he went on another trial. And it was a specific trial funded by donors. And he stayed on it and derived benefit for a year on that study as well. His current therapy is actually an FDA approved treatment and it involves injecting a modified virus directly into the tumor. And the only way that treatment could have become available is through other patients participating in clinical trials. So now instead of participating in the trial, David is deriving benefit from other people who participated in trials before him. The way I felt when it was before diagnosis and the way I am now, um, different, better, better than that moment. I can't impress enough um, the, the significance in, um, of clinical research uh, and the need for private funding um, so that we can create new ideas and, uh, and have treatments that would, would otherwise go unexplored. Everybody has a role to play um, and we all participate a little bit. Uh, if nobody participates, nothing gets done, nothing gets accomplished. So if you don't donate $5 or $10 or $100, if, if nobody does that, then nothing moves forward. Um, certainly, none of us can move a mountain by ourselves. We all need help. And it reminds me of a, uh, a quote by Mother Teresa. She said, um, we know what we do is but a drop in the ocean, but without that drop, the ocean would be missing something. And I think about that every day, and I can't help all the patients I see, we can't cure all the patients we see, but if we can help one person, it makes a difference. I'm an example of your hard work. Please keep working, keep, keep it up. We need your help, we need, we need you to keep working, to keep thinking, to keep trying. Failure's part of it. Um, success, you may not be able to see your successes. <laughs> Guess what? Here's one, here's one before you.